Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and highly favored. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you. And if you have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you feel like you resonate with my video, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up, share if you feel free. And if you feel like you're comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love to get the positive feedback. It will be greatly appreciated. And thank you once again for stopping by my channel. And for my returning subs, as always, much love to you. And thank you for the support. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you. And thank you so much for the support. And today my video is about Twin Flame 101, Hey Oka's on their emotions. Hey Oka's on their emotions. Today I'm listening to deep sleep music, insomnia music for 3.4 uh, 3 hertz, delta waves, binaural beats, binaural beats, healing for the for sleep so if anybody has any sleep problems or any kind of insomnia um issues these are really good for you know if we need to go ahead and sleep because this this like i don't know what it is but it's like so angelic and so peaceful and calming because there's some nights you know especially when you have a lot of things on your mind like you might have you know trying to figure out how you're gonna pay your bills or you know what kind of situations you might have to take the children to uh one of the car broke down and then there's like one of the kids got a soccer game and the other one got a football practice so you know you're trying to juggle all those things and have things on your mind so you know if you have any issues with your insomnia whatever sleep patterns i'll go ahead and put that in the description in the link down below so but anyways Yes, my video is about Twin Flame 101. Help is in their emotions. Oh my goodness. With us and our emotions, it's bad enough as it is that we always go through stuff. And then when we go through stuff, we always take the most longest route for it instead of just saying, you know what? Let me just take this L and just keep it moving. No, we got to go get evidence. We got to go through this. We got to go through that. We got to go through the he say, she say. It is just so much stuff, and it's just like, I don't know if it's something about the blood moon or blue moon or whatever that was, and plus those two other eclipses that we have. I don't know about you, but it's just like things that has been creeping up, like from my past, like from my childhood, I'm having to heal from. And I don't know, and it's just like bad enough as it is when you got negative people around you and you collecting that and you already going through negative thoughts yourself. You know, I'm human, y'all. I be trying to push some positive love and light to y'all and try to send that frequency. Because like I said, if I feel a certain kind of way or if I'm in a little aggravated mood, and we get that way, I won't make any videos. I promise you, I try to make sure I'm on the best frequency I poss possibly can when I make my videos because you don't want to be making a video like that and feel very dreadful because I mean I'm not I'm not gonna lie I've made you know a couple of videos like that where somebody's got under my skin and I just had to say something you know because nobody likes to come on you know especially with youtubers um Nobody likes to come on their, their channel and be bullied on their channel. Nobody likes to cyber bully and nobody likes to be picked on because especially when you're doing that, you know, doing, pushing so much positivity out and it's all up on the straight and narrow, we get that. So it's just like really hard, you know, going through all that and then you have to deal with, you know, past issues you're trying to heal from that you eventually you're going to have to face because sometimes we'll we'll take the hard route and sweep it up under the rug saying we don't want to deal with it right now because i've done that you know and i see other people do it and it's just like i know how it makes me feel with situations because it, it's like it, it came back and bit me in my butt you know because there's so many things i ran from there are so many things i didn't want to deal with i was just coping with it and one rule number one you never want to cope with anything you need to go ahead and face it and you know and sometimes that's hard to do trust me i'm still going through it myself because you know with the hell because it's just crazy it's just the more stuff i read on i'm sorry if i know it starts itching 
<laughs> when I start really getting into some deep, you know, deep talks and stuff like that, my nose start itching like crazy. But yes, it's just like when we go through so many things, it, it's like when you're already trying to go through your path on helping other people's he healing that comes across, you know, that comes into your circle, your personal circle. And, you, you know, they're mirroring off of you and you're mirroring off of them. And then you're going through all these situations and it's just with this big shift that went on. I don't know if this just made it worse, but it mine's just got crazy. Like the dreams got intense and, you know, more things are dwelling when I'm ready to let it go and it's just coming back. And, you know, and I'm just wondering, is any other people going through that situation where you're dealing with things and it's just like you might feel like you have let them go? But other things that came up that you really didn't think it was a big deal. And then when you come back, you're like, ugh, that did happen. And it's just like, you know, with me, I, I'll be thinking that I'm getting over it. And I really feel like I do. But obviously, it's not because it's something that keeps on resurfacing. And it's just like, anytime you, you're going to repeat that lesson until you get it. So I'm just wondering, is anybody else going through that? You know, go ahead and drop me a line or two or tell me your experience about, you know, when you were going through the blue moon phase or, you know, the last two or three eclipses that we had or, you know, anything that you might be going through because of the shift that we're having. You know, greatly be appreciated and I'll make sure I, you know, reply to every comment because I love to hear everybody's stories and experiences that they love to share. So, and I will see you on my next video. Much love to you. I will keep you in my prayers, and I hope you do the same for me. And go ahead and, you know, like and subscribe. Hit, even hit that notification bell so you know when I upload my next video. And I will see you next time. Peace and be wild.